Okay, proposals. G give us the, the big picture. Uh, there's five scenarios that people will see, uh, and those five scenarios are based on census 2010 data as the starting point. But there's been growth since 2010. This is supposed to be an update process. How did you account for growth? Well, the new charter language says that there can be up to a 3% difference in each district uh, within each scenario. Um, so for scenarios A through D, uh, we attempted to account for the growth from 2010 to 2015. And in scenario E, uh, we only uh, allocated the numbers based on census 2010 data. Okay, so growth is only about how you allocate the potential 3% difference. And if I remember correctly, uh, in all four of those A, B, C, and D, um, District 1, Central Beaverton, growing more slowly, is set a little bit higher than the four, correct? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Um, uh, is there anything else that um, folks should know before they dive in and start looking at these specific proposals? Yeah, one of the most important aspects is that um, the population density in urban areas uh, is higher than in rural areas. So a small uh, change in geography in these urban districts will create a huge uh, d change in population where a potentially big change out in the rural areas in District 4 can create a very small difference with respect to population. And you'll see that on the map. There are some of these where most of the change is concentrated in the urban area, small changes, big changes in population, but when we impact the rural area, the changes get larger. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, you have an opportunity now to, to click through and look at each of these proposals. There's some good guidance there that helps you to see how to navigate, how to zoom in, zoom out, move east to west, north to south, which we think you want to do. Um, we, as you do that, we hope you'll take notes uh, and that you will, in fact, uh, take advantage of the feedback page here as well, uh, the next page in this, in this tool. Uh, and that you'll pass that, that, your comments on to the Board of Commissioners. Walt, do you want to talk about open houses? Absolutely. There's also a link here to four open houses that are scheduled uh, throughout the month of May. Uh, we hope folks will come, if they want to come out in person to pass along their feedback, they can do that then. So Jason, thank you very much. Thank you for your, your, the work that uh, your team did on this. It's been a great project. Yeah, this has been a great project. We're done in, uh, with our work, and we want to thank Washington County for the opportunity to be part of this project. Okay, and, and we're done as well, uh, and we hope that you're not. We hope that you'll take that last step here, pass along your feedback, and we'll make sure that it is conveyed to the board, and, and again, that they consider that as part of their decision-making process. Thanks very much.